I found that awesome badge. I didn't know what it was. It just looked like a triangle shape. There's a picture of it right here. This is what it looked like when I dug it out of the ground. But I was so intrigued by it, I decided to do some electrolysis on it. And if the electrolysis didn't work out and looked like crap, there'd be no video. But man, it came out really good. Probably my most successful electrolysis maybe that I've ever done. And I've probably done, I don't even know, a whole bunch of them. So check out this video. Again, here's the before. The after will be at the end. Tell me what you think. Let's check it out. I'll talk to you later. I'm going to mix in two teaspoons of this washing soda. Most of it's diluted. Once that's done, I like to put in a little bit of uh, lemon juice. Took an old router adapter, power adapter. This one, as you can see, is seven and a half volts output. You want to make sure that your output is DC. You don't want to have AC output. The small one's good, five and a half volts, six volts. This one's seven and a half. That'll do the trick. I cut the end off, tied on some alligator clips, positive and negative. See, it's a little corroded because I've you know used this before. And what you're going to do is your red positive. It's going to go to a piece of metal. In this case I'm using a spoon. I don't always use a spoon. It gives off some uh, some chemicals, the stainless steel. But because I'm outside, I'm going to use the spoon. So I'm going to put that on there like that. The negative is going to go to my, my relic. And that's going to go in there right next to it. It's not going to touch but it's going to go next to it. And now we'll go ahead and plug it in. Now you can see as soon as we turn it on it starts to do its thing. Let's take a look. I'm going to turn it off. You can see a lot of rust in the water now. starting to come off. I can almost see a design in the middle. I'm not sure what yet. You can see the edges. It's really starting to go from the edge in. So it's going to take a little bit more time. So I'm going to try it again. I'm going to fully submerge a negative. back on. Alright guys, we're going to check on it again. Turn it off. Get the towel, we'll dry it off a little bit. Let's just dry it off. We'll get a little brass brush. Some of the chunks are starting to fall off. But as you can see, it's getting really good. I don't know what it says yet. You got to be careful. If I just scraped at this without the electrolysis, the rust would actually rip off the underlying metal with it. The electrolysis will break it up. So even though I'm brushing it, I'm trying to brush it kind of gentle. There's still some big chunks on here. I don't want to damage it. So I'm going to put it back in another 10 minutes or so, and we will check on it again.
All right, let's check it again. This is part of the process is you need to really be diligent. You don't want to just put it in, come back an hour later. As you can see, it's coming along. There's just uh, some thick parts here that just don't want to come off right away, but they're getting there. So back in it goes. It's been going in and out for about an hour. And I'm going to show you what I got. This is really cool. When I got it, you couldn't see anything. You had no idea what it was. And now, it's almost all the way cleaned off. Just a little bit of rust on there. And I'm going to get the last of it off definitely coming once I get this last little bit of rust off here and up here it's gonna be beautiful I'm gonna put it back in and keep an eye on it just to try to get that last little bit off but look how nice it looks guys all right guys I changed the water and I put it right underneath of the spoon I'm gonna turn it off because the last little bit is on the top so I wanted to get right underneath of there so the electrolysis is really hitting Whew, it's looking good just gonna go right back under there just like that under the spoon All right, guys, I can tell it's done. I'm gonna turn it off for the last time. Sup, guys, I'm still here. Take out our spoon, take out our badge. And this is gonna clean up like a beaut. This will work with most all iron. And, uh, Like I said, it's just a matter of being patient. And I'll show you a little before and after picture of the metal. It's going from not even knowing what it was to now. Look at that beauty. It says Columbia 6. The U is a V. And Columbia 6 is uh, an automobile. It was made in the U.S. from 1916 to 1924. I looked it up. And uh, that is a cool piece. If you're restoring a car, that is a cool emblem to have. Yep. See, the back looks pretty good. It's got a little bit of gum on there, but I don't care. So, I'm going to put up a little before picture. Here's that nice after picture. So, uh, electrolysis. You get an iron relic, it's the way to go. I would have never cleaned it any other way. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, talk to you later. See ya.